Um, Meg, good to have you here. Tell us about the the Create Cap you're holding. Yeah, absolutely. The Box Hill Mustangs, we're called. Been uh, involved with them ever since I arrived in Melbourne, which was when I was oh probably 10 or 11 I think and I've yeah I've been playing with them ever since when I when I got there there was a few greats there Rachel Haynes actually uh, also played at the Mighty Mustangs while she was in Melbourne so you've worn the Box Hill colours plenty of times have you got any highlight moments you want to share big scores bags of wickets I've heard you're a <laughs> bit of a bowler back in your day yes I was a bit of a bowler terrorising people <laughs> individual highlights not so much but I'll tell you the story of the grand finals because yeah. it's quite epic um, we made three grand finals in a row and we lost all of them and then we won the next three um, any low lights golden duck I heard back in the day when you bowled you once started over with six consecutive wides can you <laughs> confirm or deny this rumour because I can ring the likes of Kelly Appleby mm, if you like. Unfortunately, it's true. <laughs> Six wides, all down the leg side. Straight you up. Yeah, like you should be able to correct. You'd think at least, you know, go from leg side to offside. No, all down leg. Did you have a sore hammy after the sixth one or I did thought you finish about it. the over? I actually remember asking Kelly Appleby, what happens if I don't <laughs> bowl legal delivery? You're there till 9 p.m. She said to fake a hamstring injury. So um, I was getting ready to do it. But then the next six were good. Okay, so I just started okay. an over late. That's all right. right. That's fine. You just need a warm up. <laughs> what was your favourite snack at the canteen or the tuck shop or the bar? Favourite snack? Oh, uh, well, well, depending on the day, we, we'd always sit around and have a, either a softie or a beer after the game. Nice. Um, so for me, especially in the junior days, of course, I was on the Coke Zeros. Um, <laughs> still on them, but the, Yeah, still on them, actually. <laughs> uh, the very rare occasion ventured to, to a beer. But that was like the, the best part of the day, I guess, like mm. just sitting around after the game, reminiscing about what had happened um, yeah. in the club rooms and just spending a bit more time there. I think it was a good sign that nobody wanted to just duck off really quickly. Everyone wanted to hang around. Nice. Can you talk us a little bit through how your, your club survives financially, especially in the current climate? Yeah, it's a big challenge that I think every club faces and, and especially in times like like this. Um, yeah, so I mean, I guess there's there's certain fundraisers and stuff that, that happen that the club tries to get involved in, you know, such as the Toyota Cricket Raffle. Um, Box Hill's heavily involved in it and it's great that all the money gets to go back into the club and, and used, um, you know, for coaching, for, for junior programs and, and things like that. Uh, I think that's, that's really important. Equipment as well, which can be very difficult to come by um, sometimes. What would you say to all Aussie cricket fans out there about supporting their local cricket clubs? Uh, I would just say how important it is and to, to get involved. Uh, you don't have to play. You can be a volunteer. You can be behind the behind the bar, behind the canteen. And um, the environments are really fun and enjoyable to be around. Awesome. Thanks, Meg. Go the Mustangs. Go to the Mighty Mustangs. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota.